What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode here on Ord's World. So I came across a very interesting article, and that article is from MetalInjection.com. Dave Garol reveals he almost joined Gwar. Gwar responds he made the wrong choice. Uh, but before we get into this article, guys, if you are new to the channel and like this sort of thing, please make sure you hit the subscription button down below, the bell for notifications, all of that good stuff, guys. Uh, we are on the way to 1,000 subscribers, and you could help by doing that. Anyway, guys, we're going to be doing more content like this on the channel as well, talking about music. Uh, and I, I feel Dave Grohl, Gwar, they're kind of relevant to to the 90s so uh let's dive into the article headline reads dave Grohl reveals he almost joined guar guar responds he made the wrong choice now i i would say that dave Grohl probably doesn't feel that way uh, however i am a fan of guar myself growing up you know being uh into punk rock and the misfits and stuff like that so i was always intrigued by guar always appreciated them uh, and who didn't really appreciate, you know, Beavis and Butthead always talking about gore. It's like Balzac told him, throwing blood and urine in the audience isn't enough. You guys need to learn to play something. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> I can personally tell you that Dave Garol is a huge gore fan. It turns out the Washington, D.C. native was almost a full-fledged member of the band in his early drumming days around the D.C. scene. Garol revealed as much in a new interview with Rolling Stone. Now, I mean, like, that that would have been interesting having Dave Grohl uh, in Gwar instead of having the Foo Fighters and uh, Nirvana. Grohl revealed things were moving so far along they'd even begun conceptualizing his costume to quote, Gwar, we're looking for a drummer, and I talked to the guitar player, Dewey a uh, Rockwell, a.k.a. the original Flatus Maximus, about it. And he's like, it's great, and you get to design your own costume. As a drummer, you don't want something that covers your face fully. You want your arms to be free. So it was like, cool. So I started kind of drawing this thing. At the time, Gwar was a band that would draw like 700 people, right? Which is huge. And then, the more I thought about it, am I really going to invite my uncle to see me play when there's like fake blood and cum shooting all over the place? Uh, yeah, that's probably not something you'd really want to invite your family to. Um, interesting that Gwar uh, would say that he made the wrong choice. Uh, but I think in the end he did make the right choice. Again, what an interesting world it would be if Dave Grohl was fucking drumming for Gore, am I right? Interestingly, Rolling Stone reached out to Gore frontman and former bassist Mike Bishop, a.k.a. Bolthar Bishop, out of character, revealed how it all went down. To quote our guitar player Dewey, who was booking shows in Richmond at the time, Bishop says in an email, And we had all seen Dave play with his bands at Dane Bramage and later on in Scream. He was already one of the greatest hardest hitting drummers I had ever seen. He still is. Gwar, uh, giving up props to uh, Dave Garol, man. Um, as a musician, I love Dave Garol, love Nirvana, love the Foo Fighters. Uh, the guy is a talented uh, musician, no doubt. Um, and I think he would have been an, a very interesting addition to Gore, uh, how ridiculous it is. Uh, but uh, but hey, man, props, uh, props to Mike Bishop for uh, showing some love uh, to Dave Garol. Bishop was excited to play with Garo and joked, just think, he could have been working his ass off playing drums in a rubber monster suit all these years. Boy, did he make the wrong choice. Obviously, a joke. Obviously, you know, being sarcastic, of course, I wouldn't expect anything else from uh, Mike Bishop of Gore. So, uh, cool stuff, man. Uh, just to see that... Um, this was even maybe like, you know, a possibility makes me kind of want to dive more into uh, what other uh, musicians that are famous now uh, would have been in other bands that are famous now. And how, how interesting that is, because I know a lot of these people uh, rub elbows in the music industry, uh, things like that. So just kind of a cool thought, I guess, at the end of the day. Meanwhile, Blothar offered a comment to Rolling Stone and nodding the Foo Fighters frontman is remembering things all wrong to quote. Grohl remembers this wrong. The berserker Blothar writes, he used to hang around the track with all the other young punks jacked on Gak. This is back before he lost all his teeth. We hired him and then called him back immediately and fired him. He was in the band for around seven and a half minutes. He was holding us back. Obviously being a, a fucking hilarious joke. Uh, you know, towards uh, Dave Grohl. Man, this is cool. I think I'm going to do more articles like this, guys, uh, if I come across them. If you guys come across articles, feel free to share them with me on social media. Uh, leave links in the comments down below here. Uh, if there's an article that you guys think would be interesting to cover, I'll do it. Uh, but just, a, again, a very interesting thought that Dave Grohl could have been the drummer for Gwar. 
um, and what kind of weird like butterfly effect that would have had on music today uh, because I think the Foo Fighters have influenced a ton uh, a ton of uh, people who have come up through the, you know, uh, after the Foo Fighters, after Nirvana. I mean, Dave Grohl has been influencing people with his music for a long time now. Um, I mean, you know, he was, you know, uh, the drummer on the front of the grunge movement back in the day. Uh, and then, you know, creating something as unique as the Foo Fighters. So, um, also, who doesn't love Gwar, man? If you've ever been to a Gwar show, let me know in the comments down below uh, what you guys have thought of the Gwar show. They're very interesting. I typically watch from a distance because uh, I don't like to walk around uh, covered in fake blood and guts. Uh, but anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the video, uh, if you guys think of this kind of content here with music. Uh, you know, again, I, I, Dave Grohl, Gwar, kind of relevant uh, to the channel or the 90s anyway uh, want to do more stuff like this let me know in the comments down below also guys if you did like this content make sure you hit the subscription button we're on our way to a thousand subscribers again so uh, it would greatly help guys let's get there let's make it happen uh, and yes I'm gonna shill my channel all day long anyway okay I'm done yakking that's the fucking video thank you all for coming out and remember everybody party on